morning everyone and welcome to vlog week day two it is tuesday i'm on my way to work out with liz so i'm excited for that today i think i'm buying my christmas tree which is very exciting guys the one i want is on sale so you know might as well my tree also is going up on november 1st and i don't want to hear it from any of you okay 2020 has been a year we deserve some joy some extended joy in this year and yes my tree goes up every year on november 1st but i feel like this year i really have an excuse so i need to go buy the tree and then i also need to figure out my decor situation because i'm actually i'll answer this again because i know i have like multiple times but i got so many questions on the la vlog i did not renew my lease at my house in la i was planning to when i moved here but obviously with covid it, I was like, I'm, it's not going to be worth it. Why would I pay rent for six months at a house that I'm not going to live at? Actually, I wasn't even really planning on renewing that. I was, I actually, that's actually wrong. That was an option, but it wasn't like fully my plan. Um, I absolutely hated my landlords. They were, I mean, I could do an entire story time on the worst landlords ever and how they were just like, I honestly think that they were just like, I mean, I know that they were selling drugs behind my house, but like other than that, there were so many other things that were just like absolutely absurd. So anyways, with that being said, I was planning on going back. I was gonna figure it out, whatever, and have a place in LA, but COVID hit. So I was like, there's just like no point in me doing that right now. So yeah, that's why I don't have that house anymore in whatever. I guess if people thought I was going back to my house in LA, I'm not, I was not going back to my house in LA. Oh, and obviously I didn't go back to move my stuff as we know so i hired people to go move my stuff and honestly all of it was either donated or like thrown out which is like kind of ugh, i hate that but also everything that i really really wanted was kind of nice um was already with me in texas like all the things that matter the most to me so that was fine with all that being said i'm starting at zero for christmas decor this year which is actually exciting because i love a fresh start you know I also have to record today. I might bake some stuff. It's definitely a quite the cozy fall day. It's 7.30 right now. I'm on my way to work out. I'm still listening to the podcast, Tim Ferriss with Matthew McConaughey, and it literally just like makes my whole life. Okay, guys, I'm about to go work out. I wanted to show you guys this mask from Aritzia. I believe it's TNA. No, it's just Aritzia. The best mask I've ever worn. So comfortable, like cannot get over this i want 15 more um it is my all-time favorite mask so i'll be ordering more finished my workout it was really really hard Ooh, i'm going home to shower get ready for the day i'm also gonna do a little what i eat in a day for you guys i don't really get too creative so i'm gonna be sharing that with you guys today so i want to make a smoothie and then avocado toast i'm out of trader joe's glaze though for my avocado toast and it is really upsetting okay i'm already hungry so i decided to make my avocado toast i made four because they're little mini pieces of bread best news ever turns out i do have glaze so this is like the recipe for the best avocado toast of your entire life i really just put as much glaze on as possible because that this is the showstopper okay and then everything with the bagel seasoning every time i look at this now i just think about how emily june really oh my god i can't believe it's an emily june whatever anyways i just think about how emily like hates it and i just think that like Guys, pray for Emily. I'm worried about her. There's my breakfast, and I made a smoothie. Co you guys saw what I put in it. It was like frozen mango, berries, spinach, coconut water, other things that I'm forgetting now. It's not this like amazing smoothie. I want to go back to making my like green smoothies, but gosh, that was just such a mess every morning. All right, guys. So I showered. I am so tired. So I'm going to get a coffee. I feel like. I stopped drinking coffee because I just didn't need it for a while and now I feel like I do need it But anyways, I've showered Changed gotten ready and I was just laying on my bed like contemplating if I was just gonna call it quits for the day And just watch movies because I just don't feel like doing much Then I got my Google Calendar alert that I've forgotten getting micro needling done today I don't know how I forgot 
that that's happening. So I'm about to head out the door. I'm going to Aya or Aya Med Spa. I cannot remember how I pronounce it. It's where I got my Botox, but microneedling I've heard like the best things about. So I'm excited. I'm wearing this boy's life set that I love. This is basically what I wear when I'm just like, I don't care. But wow, that rhymes. I'm going to get coffee because I'll fall asleep in this facial. Guys, all I know is that I need coffee desperately, like so bad. Maybe I will take a nap today. Just like a lazy, cozy day sounds so good. I really appreciate 2020 for the fact that it has been so slow in comparison. Like I think about how packed my days used to be and how packed my days will probably be pretty soon with all the other things that I'm working on. And like, yes, I feel like I have a lot going on now, but it's on my own time. It's not like I have to like show up somewhere. Anyway, so I'm just grateful for the slowness. You know what I mean? Like since when could I just decide that once I get my work done, I'm just gonna chill. I actually can't decide that. I have so much work to do today. I don't know who I'm trying to kid. I didn't have time to stop and get coffee. I'm so tired. I just like don't know what is up. How do I look everyone? Okay, so I got micro needling done, which basically I don't even wanna touch my face because I'm not supposed to get any bacteria done, so obviously it's very red. It's supposed to be this red. Um, it's not as, I thought it was gonna be more like vampire facial red, but I'm glad that it's not. It's supposed to go down within the next like 24 to 48 hours, so I'm glad I picked a vlog week to look like this, but I just wasn't thinking, and then she told me, and I was like, oh, that's right. Um, but anyways, they, I get it at Aya or Aya Med Spa in Snyder's Plaza. I really like that med spa. I also got my Botox there. And I 10 out of 10 recommend Botox. Like, cannot even describe the difference that that has made. Anyways, microneedling is just like a really big thing right now. Everyone's talking about it. So obviously I couldn't feel left out, but it's really good for skin texture. It's good for scarring, which I have scarring on my forehead. There's a bunch of things. It's just people are, it's good for tightening. I mean, it's really good for honestly everything. What I liked about them though is that they have a, this is not sponsored, but they have a like digital device because there's a bunch of different tools that you can use for microneedling and they are one of the few in America that have the digital tool. So you don't have to numb your face like you would with the other tools. So it's not as like painful. Um, it definitely hurt. But it wasn't like the worst thing ever. She said if you've gotten lip injections like around your mouth, it doesn't feel as bad. But um, yeah. Wow, I can't take myself seriously. Guys, I'm on the phone with my mom and I got a pumpkin cream cold barrel. <laughs> Okay guys, the dogs are wearing me out and I'm already tired. We've just been playing and Fitz is just, oh look at how cute. Guys, can you believe how big he is? I cannot get over it and he's still getting bigger. <gasps> Why are you such a good boy? Did we just go on a walk? Now I want them to know the word. He goes on like, I literally take him on walks probably like hourly. It's actually a nice break from like working or maybe it's procrastinating. Anyways, for lunch, keeping up with my what I eat in a day segment of the vlog, I made some salmon, broccoli, and then I'm gonna add some organic tahini. I used to put this on my salmon all the time when they lived in LA, and I've just honestly forgotten about it. It is so bomb, especially if you make sweet potatoes. Like if you just chop them up um, and put this on top, it's really good. But I love this stuff. This is like a really easy, light lunch, because I had a heavier breakfast, um, it maybe it didn't look like that much, but like I normally only eat two pieces of that toast, so guys look at this. Wow. This is how they play. It doesn't look appealing, but it's really bomb. Okay, I have been loving this bag. It is a little bit annoying because like it has a smaller opening, but it's just so cute. Not that I've been wearing um cute outfits lately. Yesterday and today it's been sweats. I'm just so tired. If you have not already tried the Summer Fridays lip balm. Um, this is your sign. I will have it linked down below. Pick it up. There is no lip balm that is better than this. I also saw Super Goop just came out with one, so I want to try it. It's not like a tube. It's in like a little balm thing. I don't know. Anyways, I've taken it upon myself to decide, but today is a work from home or work from bed day, okay? First off, my face is bright red. Second off, you know, do I always advise against this? Yes, I do, but here's the thing, guys. Um, I just want like a cozy fall day and it's, it's coming. I have like a ginormous disturbing list of things that I need to do today that just requires me being on my laptop and recording. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna lay here 
maybe put something on the TV and just get some stuff done. Guys, I am so close to graduating. I, after this session is done, I have one session left for literally one credit. And I know I said that like, I don't trust my advisors. No, it turns out they are right. So I am graduating, so excited. It's only one semester after when I would have normally graduated and I'm going to record my intro and an episode for the living room. If you guys didn't know, I feel like all of you know at this point, but I have like a subscription faith service thing called the living room and I've made it so much better. I hired someone and she's like killing it. And then also um, I'm starting like series and stuff. I'm having guests on and doing all this stuff and it's been really fun. I'm also looking at things. This vlog might not be the most exciting, but I'm looking at a lot of like behind the scenes things on like how I can like run my business better and what I should be working on versus like what I should be hiring out for, um, things like that. Also like just organizational things. Brittany Xavier told me to get Omni Focus. So I got Omni Focus. So I've been trying to set that up and just figure out how I like things streamlined. So I think today is just gonna be a day of like getting it together. Since I'm still drinking this cold brew, I'm pretty much done now. I'm importing footage to send in to my editor. I need to do a lot of outreach. I need to figure out exactly what I'm doing for my Christmas decor, very important. Also for the dresser, um, these are things that are like not really that important, but they are because I need to film um, videos with them. So I need to figure that out. I need to make a list for certain videos. I need to import everything into my new organization thing. I also got the Passion Planner digital, but it hasn't been able to import into my iPad. Guys, he has just been sitting here by himself, not even wanting to hang out with us for like two hours. What's up, dude? You are so handsome. Uh, guys, I just will never get over him. Look at how big he is. Are you joking? Update on my face. Super cute. I am actually hungry. It's like three something, four. No, there's no way, 440. Oh my gosh, it is 440. I just been working on my laptop so i thought it was like way earlier in the day so we're having like a really early dinner late lunch situation i don't know so i'm gonna have some of the soup i made last night which i shared on an instagram reel check it out and i was actually already craving a stuffed bell pepper and then i saw this recipe yeah no seriously don't worry if it's no just, just stay there it's very fall, so I'm just gonna heat that up. And then I actually have a food unboxing for you guys. I got some frozen pizzas in from Bonza. I heard a ring at the door and then I saw Brooke posted that she got pizzas from Bonza. And so I figured these are what was here. I love Bonza pasta, so I'm excited for these pizzas to come out. Dude, what are you doing? What's the point in that? Hey, I'm right. I don't know what he thinks is happening. So I got four little mini frozen pizza gluten-free vegan two crust per pack oh that's like just pizza crust that's cool and this is just a normal cheese pizza and this is like a roasted veggie and the first one was margarita all right so here's my soup this may be just a really early dinner if i'm hungry still i'll either eat cheeses or make a pizza it's just not my absolute healthiest day or night you know it's all about balance guys okay fits I'm like now trying to teach them the word walk. Let's go on a walk. He just doesn't care. Okay. It's 5 p.m. I need to go on my little night um, evening walk. I'm feeling a little bit anxious. I'm all out of my recess drinks, which is like not good. I do have a health aid chill kombucha drink. So I think I'm gonna try this out tonight. I'm wearing a hat because I need to protect my face right now because of my treatment. So I don't have to be really careful, but I'm gonna listen to some music and go on a walk and it really just like relaxes me. Guys, I am literally dying at this right now. I know the fan is probably making noise, but I use this sound to make a TikTok video with Fitz and watch him as he watches it, the video of himself, okay? It's on my TikTok, which is just Kinzilas with Hay. It's just one of those like squeaky noise things. Okay, wait, Fitz, look.
That's you. Oh my gosh. Loves the camera, just like his mom. Isn't that true? Isn't that right? I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, so that is it for tonight's vlog. It is 7 p.m. Am I in bed? Yes. Do I care? No. Um, I actually love going to bed like so early. I literally will go to bed at 9 p.m. every night if I have the opportunity to. So I brought some snacks upstairs. I'm going to edit this vlog for vlog week and then maybe I'll start a new show or a new book. I might start the new <gasps> anonymous girl. It's not new, but I'm, oh, he just is making himself really comfortable. I'll show you guys. Guys, I've been really struggling with what to, well, really struggling. Wow, like such a big problem in my life. I don't know what I should watch on Netflix. I'm really picky and I actually really love Emily in Paris and I just can't find anything that I like. So comment down below what I should watch. Um, also, comment down below book recs. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, tomorrow's vlog is really exciting. I'm gonna go car shopping, which I cannot wait for. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.